hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you the massive and amazing speed difference when you run an inference with pytorch architecture optimization or pytorch ao pytorch ao is a library for custom data types and optimization you can quantize and sparsify weights gradients optimizers and activations for inference and training in large language models so pytorch ao enables you to do quantization and sparsification the difference between quantization and sparsification is very sort of significant and we need to understand it before we learn about this torch ao when we say sparsification sparsification reduces the number of weights and connections in a model how it does it it removes unnecessary weights and then it just sets them to zero and it prunes less important neurons or connections in the model whereas when we say quantization quantization reduces the precision of the weights and activations in the model what it means is that instead of representing the model in float 32 it might represent it in int 8 or int 4 so it reduces the range of values in a very simple language if we say that sparsification sparsification would be like on a map we will just remove less important and smaller roads and we will just keep the bigger roads or highways making the map simpler and easier to navigate so the remaining roads on the map still connect important locations so that is what is called as sparsification whereas if uh, quantization is concerned now in terms of quantization instead of showing every single kilometer uh, as we have in australia or mile on a map the map just might show 10 kilometers or 10 miles the map still provides useful information but with less detail so this is what quantization is so sparsification remove uh, detail like uh, smaller smaller detail whereas uh, quantization is to change the scale of the map or the scale of the model so this is the difference between sparsification and quantization and this is what we can do with this uh, torch ao in order to reduce the model uh, size so that it will fit on our lesser memory now you might have heard me saying all of these terms like weights gradients optimizers and activations because this torch ao works on all of these to reduce the size weight is a number that determines the importance of connection between model uh, models neurons whereas gradients is a measure of how much each weight contributes to the net models error and then optimizer is algorithm that adjusts weights based on gradients to minimize error and optimize models performance whereas activation is a function that introduces non-linearity allowing the neurons to learn complex patterns in the data and it determines whether to respond to an input or not so this is the whole uh, conceptual framework between this torch AO. I hope that you understand it more. Now let's try to get it installed and then we will see an example where we will be showing what happens when we use it without this torch AO uh, with a model or what happens when we use it with torch AO. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment. I'm just going to create it with Python 3.11. So let me paste the command here. And then it is going to create the Conda virtual environment and it is going to activate it. So let's wait for it to come back. 
and the conda environment is created and we have stepped into it next up let's install some of the prerequisites which are just pytorch and then the transformers i mean uh, installing transformers from the source so that we will get the latest one and everything is installed now torch and transformers let's also install hugging face hub because i intend to download um, the model from hugging face the meta's llama so I, we would need to log into hugging face for that we would need to run this command hugging face cli it is going to ask the token the read token from hugging face which you can get by signing up to huggingface.co and then getting it from your profile it is a free token let's press y here and you can see that login is successful now so let me clear the screen that is done now let me also um, launch my jupyter notebook because it will make it easier to run these commands in our notebook which will be launched in the browser so let me run this let's wait for it to launch in the browser on second thoughts let's first try out in terminal because i want to show you the comparison uh, in parallel in both terminals with compile and without compile or with torchio and without torchio so i'm already logged in it's the same conda environment two terminals showing you the same thing so we already have installed everything let's launch our python interpreter on the first one here i'm going to import os and torch and also the transformer and also the environment i'm just setting this token either parallelism to false and that is going to suppress a lot of warnings that will make our life easier let's set the device to cuda and i'm just giving the model is meta llama that is why i logged in next up let's set the quantization config so quantization config here is as you can see i'm just going with int 4 weight only uh, you can go with int 8 weight only if you like or even int 8 dynamic activation and uh, i'm just specifying group size as 128k this is only needed for int 4 and it could be 32 64 128 i'm just going to go with 128 okay so let me run it and that has been set now you can ignore this warning next up let's download the model okay so we would need to install the accelerate i wish they would install it from the source so that is fine i'm just going to run it in the second environment sorry let's clear it pip install accelerate and then i'm just going to maybe i'll just go with the latest model i'm just going to upgrade it let's wait for it to install and we would need to exit it from here unfortunately and rerun it let me clear the screen and rerun my python interpreter And you can see that now the model is being downloaded and loaded onto my gpu and that is done next up let's specify our tokenizer i'm just going with the pre-trained one next up let's specify a prompt i'm just going to say what is happiness that is done and now let's convert our text into token with the help of tokenizer that is also done and now let's um, specify some of the hyperparameters and also the cache implementation as static and this is we are going to reuse it so i'm just specifying the static and config.cache implementation is like this so that is done now let's generate without compile so i'm just going to press here and then maybe i will also put a timer here so i've imported the time i have started the time let's try to generate with the model without compiling without torch ao let's wait for it to come back we can ignore these warnings and that is done let's also decode the output and then we are going to print it there you go so it has taken around 88 seconds on my a6000 without compile let's now try to do the, on the compiled one so i'm just going to use the second screen in order to do that we can even do it here um okay let's do it in the same screen just to avoid any launching again a python interpreter 
Now in order to use that the compiled one I'm just going with this CUDA graph which is a library from NVIDIA. Um, it's got memory efficient and we have enabled it with reduce overhead. So let me run it. So model is initialized. Next up let me do the inference with everything in the time block. So I'm just going to paste it here. I'm also ignoring the warnings. There you go. Just 19 seconds. So, and this is the answer. What is happiness? And it has taken it uh, very, very less time. And the good thing is that if you keep running it, it is going to um, keep coming down due to the caching. You see, it has now 18 seconds. If you run it, again, it has increased. But normally, it just keeps coming down because it caches it. So, which is really cool. I mean, um, see, it is keep coming down. So that is the beauty of this Torch AO. So if you're running, uh, if you're looking for a very, very fast inference engine, uh, all in Torch without any frills and bells and whistles, you just want to extract the efficiency from your GPU. Of course, it will only work on CUDA. Then I think this Torch AO is a very, very good optimization technique. So that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description you can play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching